Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Magisite. If you've never seen this game before, it's a roguelike that, I don't know, originally I passed it up, up originally because it kind of made me think of like a weird bastardized version of Terraria meets I don't know what, but when it comes down to it, it's actually kind of an attractive game from a gameplay perspective. It's also one of the roguelikes I am terrible at. Like, most roguelikes I can kind of get a handle on fairly quickly. This one, not so much so. Let's murder the crap out of this thing before it decides to come pay us a painful visit. Looks like we're okay, and I've got plenty of wood. So, one of the major features of this game is it features a fairly robust crafting system that I kind of dislike, in a way. I mean, it, I don't want to be, like, too hard on it, but it is definitely one of those where... It, it has some things that I'm not okay with, as in the crafting system, there's no guide for it. You just really have to start guessing, which pretty much requires you to check out the Wikipedia just to understand, which is kind of frustrating. And apparently I'm already out of wood. Whoops, should have made a sword. Oh well, we can go get more things, but I'm, I guess I can make a stone sword, which would be better. So, yeah, I, I did record a little bit of this, but I lost... Oh, ow. I did lose the audio almost, well, I lost it almost immediately because I never had it. I, hell, mm, I was going to say hello, Mr. Boar. So, I'm really bad at this game, like I said, and uh, my first recording experience was a lot of screaming, a lot of dying, and a lot of like, what the hell do I do in this situation? Because there's, n there's no information on how to craft, just simply not there, which... It, I mean, that's pretty much my only critique of this game. Otherwise, it's actually pretty fun. I just have to uh, get better at it. So, let's make ourselves... Actually, no, I don't have enough resources for a sword. That's disappointing. Uh, let's see. Got some stuff down there. Let's just not get killed by slimes. So, I don't have a healing potion yet, I think. Well, that was painful. So, as you can tell, we've got health in the top right, magic below it, food, and endurance. Endurance is... Reduced purely by jumping and dodging. And it looks like double jumping does not actually take away endurance, which is kind of convenient. Right, my goal here is to make us a stone sword, which should put us on the right path to, you know, not dying. There we go. And a bunch of planks. I guess the slowness of the crafting system... It, does get a little tiring after a certain point because it's like well you know it'd be kind of nice to just blitz through this kind of business but it, it takes some time like if it was one of those where it worked on a recipe based system where you would ah, I'm also really bad at predicting where enemies are going to go and win and dodging them this is just not exactly my uh, strong suit I, if you've watched Tower of Guns I'm not very good at dodging shots uh, it's also shown by my Fancy Skull series I run around half dead all the time. It's Binding of Isaac too. So, in summation, Waterbot, very bad at dodging things. I am managing to live here though, which is pretty good. I was a little bit afraid that I would not live very long on this run. So let's, let's see. I've got four food. I should be fine that that regard. I'm just gonna keep chopping down trees because I don't know if there's an inventory cap on things or not. But uh, oh, hello. Okay, these guys are a-holes. Well, at least we can kill them pretty good. And we need health. Luckily, apparently I have a bunch of healing potions. Do not remember starting with this many, but hey, puts us back to full health. So, every healing potion will give me... I'm going to jump backwards or forwards. And we have to deal with a pig here. Pigs are scary. But with luck, I can kind of bait it Taurus style and murder the shit out of it, because these guys are tough and not friendly. But if I can kill them, they give me a lot of food. Unfortunately, also very bad at range finding here. There we go. Got a lot of food, level up, perfect. And then we can go come over here and murder the smorgasbord of stuff. Unfortunately, took some stupid damage. Luckily, apparently we got healing potions from that. Not entirely sure how or why, but hey, they're there. Can't complain. And apparently my axe is broken. Luckily I made a second. Now, I guess one of the other complaints I have is, if you accidentally break your axe, I think you actually might be screwed. There might be a way of getting another one, but I have yet to figure out how. So, uh, if you are playing this game, make sure you don't lose your axe. 
Or if you know how to play this game and you've lost your axe and figured out how a way of harvesting some lumber without, you know, doing absolutely terribly, please tell me. Because I've made that mistake many times before and it was very unfortunate. Uh, I feel almost ashamed to just kill a pig with a stone sword. It feels like a waste of resources. So I have not found a whole lot of stone in this run. I was really hoping I could be clever and go over that, but the answer is no. Okay, so we're reaching the end of the level, which is perfect, because I can murder these guys. Apparently they're giving me health potions up the wazoo, which is perfect. It's just, uh, well, take some more damage. Luckily, getting plenty of potions. And we've got three doors to go through, and I honestly have no idea which one is which. So let's, let's just go through door number one. I've never went, gone through door number one. And it looks like he's got some kind of stuff to sell to me. Finest items for sale. Unfortunately, I am dirt poor. I guess I could get a stone pickaxe, which isn't a terrible deal. I need to... I mean, yeah, let's do it. Stone pickaxe. Realistically, probably didn't need to do that, but did it anyway. Now, I kind of wish there was like a built-in fire so I could cook stuff while I'm here, but can't. Oh well, doesn't matter. So, let's get away from this guy just in case we accidentally sell something we need. And I think if I split up the monster hides, I can make leather, but I'm going to need more. actually don't seem to have much of a ability to make anything here, which is not entirely surprising. So I guess realistically, what I'm going to do with the bone... No, I'll hold on to the bone. I could make something with the bone. And realistically, if I could make myself some armor, that would be really good. And if I can't, oh well. I also kind of wish the inventory would auto sort, but what we do need to do is quickly make a fire because we have 10 pig meat and we're getting really hungry, so let's just throw food at the fire, get a bunch of cooked meat, and really head out because there's not much to do here, especially when you don't have anything remotely useful. Looks like there's some nice expensive things that I could afford someday, so let's, let's eat some of these. Now, I think eating recovers a little bit of health, too. Not much, but it's more than enough for what we need. Bushwood, forest, and there's a spider. Perfect. Now, for some mysterious reason, we were walking backwards. And I will admit, moonwalking is not a viable strategy in any sense of the word. So let's get ourselves some stone, because we're going to need it. Let's go confront this big old bug, which, in reality, it's a, I mean, it's a spider. There's... There shouldn't be too much ambiguity, but it really does look just kind of like a weird beetle thing instead of an actual spider. Either way, uh, let's see. Now, I have to admit, I've I've heard, judging by the creator of this game's Google Plus page, I think it was, just because, but somebody's actually managed to beat this game in, what, five minutes? Which seems totally incomprehensible to me, but, you know, if you can beat this game in five minutes, power to you, because I can't. It'd be kind of cool to learn how, but I don't know. I got other things to do, like recording episodes, sort of, instead of practicing. I mean, maybe I could practice later on, but come on, Mr. B. Unfortunately, Mr. B here, absolute jerk. Okay, and unfortunately, oh, well, let's eat. Okay, that didn't do any good. Luckily, I think there's nothing in the area that's going to kill me. Yeah, just a pig. So let's kind of back off. Let's see if I can get him down. And unfortunately, the be... Oh, crits. Awesome. Now, there are three classes that we can go through, and I'm not entirely sure why I haven't specifically gone into them. What are our stats? Attack's really high. Magic is decent. So, you know what? I'm going to go into magic and see what we get. Unfortunately, I have no idea what that skill does, but let's go over this guy and see what... Oh, blink. Eh, useful enough. I will have to use and abuse it. Apparently, it doesn't use mana either. And before we go, I should probably mine these things, because that would be the sensible thing to do, right? A lot of stone. If I can get, if I can get a fair amount of leather, which we really don't have, then we'll be in a really fancy location. But oh hey, there's coal following me around. I should probably what? Okay, mana potions. You go on the ground. Oh, and the coal's already gone. Whoops. Anything else I can do here? The answer looks to be no. A bit on the poor side, really. Can make more pickaxes and stuff. What's my durability looking like? Eh, it's okay. And there goes my mana potions. Oh well, I'll probably be fine. Let's just hop down here, murder these things, grab this stuff, wait for Mr. Piggy. 
I should probably just go over and around so I actually have some room to maneuver because as it stands, I don't have a whole lot of room for anything. Come on, Mr. Pig. Wow. Ooh, a lot of damage, actually. Which is great. If I could one-hit this pig, that'd be amazing. But as it stands, not likely. Let's get some more ore, because at some point I think I can make armor of some variety, but I'm going to need like a buttload of stone to do so. Which is kind of frustrating, because there's not very good farming locations, which probably means I need to survive longer, if anything. Now, can I break this? I think I can break it. And we do enough damage, so I don't have to worry about it too much. But I, I've also never broken one of these honeycomb things before. So it's kind of like, let's just see what hap- Whoa! Nuts. Well, uh, we, ki we killed them all. That actually uh, worked out pretty well for us. Sure, we got a little injured. Not that big of a deal. Let's move the stone pickaxe down and eat. Because I'm hungry. And apparently that healed me. Not entirely sure how or why, but it did. I'm probably going to have to invest in a new sto stone sword shortly enough, so I'm probably running out of durability on it. Yep. In fact, I just did. Uh, run in fear! <laughs> Please don't have a thing to murder me, thank you very much. Okay, so now, unfortunately, our inventory is very much full. Let's quickly combine all these things. Grab the stone. Where, oh, it went here. Bust these up. Whoops. Did not want to do that. There we go. Now we got two stone blades. Let's combine the sticks with the wood. A lot of sword hilts, so there we go. And then I should probably... Hmm, probably should not have made that many stone sword hilts. Oh well. Uh, should be fine either way. And let's just keep going, because currently I'm feeling pretty brave. I'm, I'm feeling pretty brave, and realistically I'd like to get to the town so I can sell stuff. Apparently critical hits are actually becoming a staple of my abilities, which is kind of confusing. I didn't even know crits were really a thing, because this is the first time I've ever even managed to get one. Oh, there's a pig. And my dodging almost brought me to a very dangerous location, but... Wow, we can kind of do hit them, especially with our mysterious critting ability that I do not remember picking up and seeing before in the game. I guess it did get patched this morning, so could actually just be a new feature. Could be wrong, either way. Mr. Slime here is going down. Now I think we got enough herbs that we can start healing, uh, that we can start making some more healing items too. I'm just gonna get rid of these sword hilts. Uh, monster hide, that should be plenty enough leather that we can actually make some stuff. I'm just gonna get rid of the wooden blades, they're not going to be wildly useful at this point. Uh oh. So, Scourge have invaded, not entirely sure what that means, but I know it's scary. Let's drop the mushroom, pick up the spider web. Well, I took some damage there. Guess I'll just drink these potions. I really have no idea how fast the Scourge move, and it's not something I want to really experiment with, but I do want to get all these resources. And, I mean, if I die here, I die here, and it's a learning experience, and if I manage to live, well, then we made it out like bandits. Please don't murder me. Whatever. Oh, shit. That is a thing. Yeah. Okay, looks like I've been moving way too slowly. Really do not know what you are. Well, let's go through here, and apparently we get to go to the town again. Perfect. Let's see. Blacksmith, can you... Actually, I'm gonna jump cut while I figure out how to craft. Because I do not remember how to craft all these things. Oh, never mind. I do, do know how to craft these things. Because... Let's see if I can clear my inventory out a little bit. Let's, I guess, just do this. A lot of leather. Get our stone blade back. Talk to this guy, and I believe if I do one, two, three, it'll give me a thing. Nope. Guess that's not it. Maybe if I do this. No. Oh. If I do this. There we go. So I can have some kind of bone leather going on, right? Okay, so I figured out how to craft. So, apparently, I was talking to the tailor, not the, uh, lever... L uh, hello. Yeah, I was not talking to the leather crafting person. Well, this guy's being a royal pain in the ass and immediately killed me. Well, suddenly I feel really stupid. Oh, well, let's see what we get. Apparently, we get, uh, the Dwelf. And... Wasp glasses. Cool. Well, that's some new things to try out for the next run, but... I think this is a great, uh, great stopping point. 
We got 18 minutes in. I think that's a new record for me, and hopefully we will get through the things faster as I become slowly more competent in this game. Also, uh, let's see. I wonder multiplayer. So, apparently multiplayer is online only, not local. Good to know. Guess I'm gonna have to go make some friends. Oh, I'm so lonely. Uh... Scratch that. Anyway, so, I will see you guys on the next episode of Magicite, because I'm actually really enjoying this. I just, uh... Well, I need to be faster about the whole crafting gathering process, because I'm spending half of my time just doing resource management. Uh, thus hearkening back to my whole Terraria comparison. Anyway, I will see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.